These new AI video tools are completely changing how you make AI films. You can turn yourself into an AI character and create an entire action-packed world using just a few prompts. To demonstrate these incredible new AI features, I made a short film of this courageous space explorer. Ups go to 4K resolution using the same exact cutting edge techniques that I'm gonna share with you in this tutorial today. First, there's this incredible new motion capture feature, which lets us take a recording of ourselves, acting out our scene with motions, gestures, and also a dialogue, and transfer that onto an AI character. I'm gonna be creating this full interrogation scene where I'll subject this intrepid space adventurer, and she's been arrested and now has to answer to the law. And in the animation, I'm gonna show the interrogation scene and also adding flashbacks of the events leading up to her arrest. The first step is gonna be taking a recording of myself, acting out what the outlaw is gonna say. Hijacking a contraband? Wow, it sounds really dangerous when you say it like that. Now, I haven't taken any acting classes, so I can speak to the camera, but also adding hand movements, expressions, everything we need to create a lifelike AI character. Now that I have the video recording down, I actually need to make a model for my AI character. And the good news is with the newest AI tech, all we need to do this part is a single image of our AI character. And we'll be able to use just a few prompts to put her inside an interrogation room inside the cockpit of a spacecraft, put her inside a scene with other characters like her trusty space droid. So what I need to do is take this photo of my outlaw character and put her inside a interrogation room and we'll be using my acting performance to animate this character. I'm using this platform called OpenArt. It basically has all the different AI tools you want for video or image generation all inside one spot. So let's go to create an image. I'm gonna use some of the newest AI image models like Nano Banana or Sea Dream. Inside this model selection, I actually wanna pick the new Sea Dream 4 Corno model. There is this image reference area where we can upload reference images. And what I need to do is upload my AI character into here. You'll notice in my references folder, I also have this picture I took of myself sitting in the chair, and that's because I want to create an image of my AI character that's sitting in the same pose that I'm sitting in. So we'll actually also drag this photo of myself sitting in the chair on here. So now I have the two image references of the AI character and also myself sitting in the chair. And inside the prompt, what I'll tell it to do is create a photo inside a film of the blue woman sitting down in the same pose as a man put her inside a white interrogation room on a spacecraft, sitting in a futuristic white chair. And uh, I've also got a couple style keywords added here. And then inside the output settings, I need to make sure that the aspect ratio is set to widescreen image. And here's an image that I created of my character. We can take a look and compare it to the original character reference. And uh, yeah, it basically transfers over all the characteristics of my AI character into this new scene that we can start animating. Few options when it comes to AI image models. There's also the Nano Banana model from Google, which also does a really, really good job. For me personally, I just found that for this specific scene, the image generated by Sea Dream matches the visual aesthetics I'm going for a bit more closely. I didn't really like the images created by Nano Banana but I always test out both. So now that I have the images generated for my AI characters, it's time to animate these into a talking AI actor. And we'll be using the brand new one character animation tool to do this. So I've logged into uh, one's website and I'm on the homepage. What we can do is find the avatar generation feature. Now, this is going to have a couple of different options. We'll be using photo anime, where I'll be taking that recording of myself and transferring the movements onto my AI character. First thing is uh, we'll upload that character image and then adding one of the video recordings of myself. One thing to know is that right now you can do up to 15 seconds of the motion capture. And so if your video is longer than 15 seconds, uh, like mine, you might need to crop it and divide it into different sections and then combine them together later. Hijacking a contraband? Wow, it sounds really dangerous when you say it like that. 
And I'd also recommend using the pro mode for the best quality results. And then we can go ahead and generate that scene. It does take around 10 minutes or so, but this really is cutting edge technology. Hijacking a contraband? Wow, it sounds really dangerous when you say it like that. I'm just a delivery pilot. And the results are really impressive. Not only does it match the hand gestures, movements with my arms, it also captures the lip motions of me speaking. So some tips you need to know for this part. The face of the recording of the acting performance you have needs to be clearly visible. Otherwise, you'll get this error that says the face is too small. One problem with this AI acting performance is that the voice is my voice, which doesn't match the character I have. Okay, planned is kind of a big word. I just saw a weed fuel route. And so what I need to do is actually change the voice of the character to something that matches her appearance better. First thing I need to do is to extract the audio file of me talking. So inside any video editor, I'm using CapCut, I can go to export and then just export the audio file, which is the MP3 of my voice. So here's the exported file of me talking. And I'm gonna use an AI voice changing app to make my dialogue sound more feminine, We'd like a girl is talking. The tool I'm using is called Eleven Labs. They have this AI voice changer. What I do is dragging the audio of my voice. Um, and then you can pick from a bunch of different voices of other characters. Uh, I like this one called Brittany, the female villain, and then use AI to change my voice. Hijacking a contraband. Wow, it sounds really dangerous when you say it like that. That's going to match our character. And then we just need to download that audio file. And I've lined the AI audio file with the video clip of her talking. And I've also muted the volume from the original audio file. Hijacking a contraband. Wow, it sounds really dangerous when you say it like that. I'm just a delivery pilot. And that's a perfect way to set up the performance for my AI character. If this entire process of creating the AI acting and dialogue sounds a little complicated to you, don't worry. We can also just use a much simpler lip syncing tool where you won't need a video recording of you acting out the scene. All you'll need is an audio recording and we can make the AI character talk. So in the video uh, tab on OpenR, if I go to lip sync video, I can actually animate an image of my character talking with just a single audio file. So first thing is to upload a character image. And then I'll need to add in an audio file. So I'll just take the ones that I already created using Eleven Labs. So I have the image of my character, the audio file. And now there's a bunch of different lip sync models we can choose from. So there's the open art lip sync native to this platform. There's OmniHuman, uh, Hydra. These are the three that you're going to pick from uh, when lip syncing an image. And we can take a look at some of the results. Here's what the open art lip sync model creates. Well, if I told you that, you'd take it for yourself, wouldn't you? Let's just say it's somewhere out there. Faster than anything you've got in your fleet. So it's got a little bit of uh, body motions, body language in there. The lip sync part of her talking, that looks pretty good. Although you'll see that it's not quite as expressive as if you use an acting performance of me, you know, moving my arms around and stuff like that. We can also take a look at how the Omnihuman model does. Well, if I told you that, you'd take it for yourself, wouldn't you? Let's just say it's somewhere out there. Faster than anything you've got in your fleet. I'd say the main things you'll notice when using AI lip sync is that sometimes it feels a little overdone like her head movements and her mouth motions are a little bit too exaggerated for the audio file. Also, there's a little bit of herky-jerky movements in the head and shoulder area. Here's a look at the Hedra model. Well, if I told you that, you'd take it for yourself, wouldn't you? Let's just say it's somewhere out there. Faster than anything you've got in your fleet. I call this the bobblehead effect where the head kind of bobbles up and down, uh, sometimes a little bit unnaturally. But still, this is a much 
faster and simpler way of animating your character speaking than taking a recording of yourself acting out a scene. So I've got the acting performance of my AI character inside the interrogation room. I need to flesh out the rest of the short film with some more action-packed shots, flashback to events from the past, experiences she's been through. And I want to create an entire world of her with other characters. She's also got this orange robot droid companion that I want to appear in multiple scenes with her, kind of like a reoccurring character. So I've got this reference image of the space outlaw um, and, and also her trusty orange droid. And this is the collage method where we're going to put multiple references of different characters all into the same image. Back in OpenArt, uh, we'll go to create image. Let's also switch the image model uh, to nano banana this time. And I need to upload that reference image uh, of my character and her trusty droid. And inside the prompt, let's describe a scene of my character with her droid. I want this to be like an action-packed scene. Um, maybe she's involved in a space hijacking. I'll say create a photo inside a film of the blue woman holding a blaster inside a spaceship. Next to her is her orange droid. So you want to make sure you're clear about the physical relationship between the characters. There's Robo fighters following her. And she is inside a high security hallway with red alarms. And at the end, I'm putting a couple of style keywords, uh, muted colors, cinematic, sci-fi feel. And there we go. Exactly the type of photo I was looking for. Definitely taking a page out of the Star Wars movies here. We need a couple more shots of this dynamic duel together. Here's an overhead shot of them together um, overlooking this mysterious crate, which is going to hold some very valuable items inside of it. Here's another one where the two characters are inside a spacecraft. There's one tip that you absolutely need to know about Nano Banana before trying this out for yourself. If you want to create wide landscape horizontal images, you need to make sure your reference photo is also a wide landscape horizontal image. If you use a reference that's a vertical image, Nano Banana will also generate a vertical portrait image. One thing I wanted to do to make the animation a bit more dynamic was generate different camera angles of this scene. So I created a top-down view looking directly overhead over her. I created some shots from a side profile view, uh, some shots below her and pointing upwards. And the way I made these is by using Nana Banana. And inside the references folder, I want to drop in that picture of my character in the interrogation room. Inside the prompt, I can ask for a different camera angle, like creating a bird's eye view shot of this scene. So I generated a ton of different shots on my character, and now it's time to animate these into AI videos. There's been a bunch of new AI video models that are released. I actually played around a bit with the Kling 2.5 Turbo model. This is one of the spaceship inside a battle and previously if you try to animate something like this everything would kind of get super blurry the shapes would warp around the spaceship would like change its shape into something totally different but the new clean 2.5 model really does a great job of creating shots of these action-packed scenes with like super fast motions while doing a decent job of keeping the structure of everything looking consistent it's also a nice bonus that it can also generate audio for you inside there so to use the clean video model, I will go back to this video generator. And instead of Sea Dance, there's a huge collection of video models you can animate. There's a clean 2.5 model. There's also this new one 2.5 model, uh, which is also really, really powerful. Uh, Veil 3, the usual suspects. But I actually really want to show you how the clean 2.5 model does. And so I'll put in this picture of the space battle. And let's try to create a super, super action-packed scene. So I'll tell it to follow the spacecraft flying through a space battle in a sci-fi film. I also want to turn on the sound generation. Okay, uh, let's also make this a 10 second video actually, just for good measure. As far as space battles goes, this is pretty much like the highest quality you can get when you're using AI. Um, there's the sounds, the explosions, um, this is really, really good stuff. When you're making uh, videos, uh, the results are going to be exactly the same every time you create it. So 
Here's a side-by-side -side of two different videos I generated using the same exact method. The, on the left is a much better generation I was able to get. On the right, you'll see another generation where the spaceship kind of deforms a bit and changes its shape halfway through. There's a little bit of blurring. So sometimes you will need to generate the same exact shot a few different times to get the best results. For a lot of these, using image to video is going to give you the best results. So for example, I have this corridor scene uh, of her walking through the spaceship during the hijacking. And uh, I have them firing their laser blasters walking down the hallway. And I generated this using Kling. I also tried animating this scene using the wand animate feature where I had this driving performance of me, you know, aiming the weapon uh, around the hallway. And animate doesn't quite do as good of a job. Her eyes look a little bit weird. And the background's also pretty blurry. For a lot of these, if you want like a lot of movements, especially if the character's like moving forwards and backwards a lot, Using the image to video model like Clean 2.5 will give you probably the best results. If you want to squeeze that last little bit of extra quality out of your AI videos, there is also a video upscaling tool inside OpenArt. The upscaler they're using uh, is the Topaz AI upscaler. Topaz is pretty much the best AI video upscaler available out there. So we can upload uh, a video that I generated. This is just going to be one of her flying uh, through her space battle. We have the option to do a 4K upscale. Um, also frame interpolation. Not sure if you actually want to do this part. It's probably fine to just leave it at 30 FPS. If we use the upscaler, it does enhance the quality of detail we get quite a bit. So we have the acting performance of my AI character. We have the flashback scenes of her inside a dynamic space battle. Let's see what it looks like when everything gets put together into a completed short film. You're charged with interstellar hijacking, moving contraband through restricted sectors, punishable with 200 cycles in zero contact containment. What do you think of that? Hijacking and contraband? Wow, it sounds really dangerous when you say it like that. I'm just a delivery pilot, and sometimes my delivery route goes through a few star zones. But it's not like I'm doing it on purpose. Tell me about the fuel run. You planned it, didn't you? Okay. Planned is kind of a big word. I just saw a weed fuel route that was running light on guards, so I thought I'd take it a little for myself. Some other people heard, and they join in. Don't blame me for pointing the way to the fuel. And the solar ship you smuggled, worth 10 million credits. Where is it? <laughs> well, if I told you that, you'd take it for yourself, wouldn't you? Let's just say it's somewhere out there. Faster than anything you've got in your fleet. You'll never see a puck in one of your hangars. You think this is funny? <sighs> I think it's survival. The galaxy doesn't care who lives or dies. If you want to see a step-by-step -step guide of how to level up in AI video, starting from like being a complete beginner and all the stages step-by-step -step to becoming an advanced pro, go watch this tutorial right here.